Navigating Southern California traffic is tough enough. You shouldn't have to worry about this. Shrapnel, shards of metal, plastic explosives, detonating with the force of a bomb right in your face. At the end of the day, these are all explosives. These are actual bombs that are attached to your steering wheel. This is a real airbag. And this is a fake, if it deploys at all. Anything to make money, these people don't care if it kills you. It's all about the money. These are all made in China. They are all unsafe uh, airbags that are being put onto cars. On this day, a task force led by the LAPD's piracy unit bust this guy, Julio Serrano Valdez of South LA. Undercover investigators made three buys from Valdez, who was operating out of this backyard makeshift body shop. And here's the money exchange. He absolutely knew that it was counterfeit. He just blatantly admitted that he gets all the parts and pieces from China and he puts it together. Bad luck for Valdez, a delivery shows up from China, even more phony airbag parts as police execute their search warrant. This one came from DHL as we were standing here. LAX and the port of LA Long Beach are the first line of defense in stopping the flow of knockoffs. Overall, counterfeits fuel a $600 billion a year industry, one that's even more profitable than narcotics. All these people that profit from the sales of counterfeit goods, it goes to the dark side. Uh, we're talking about street gangs, organized crimes, terrorist groups. They profit and it funds other criminal activities. And if you're still tempted to buy a knockoff airbag, consider this. We'll just go in here and just simple as snap it in. In the back right here, there's really nothing securing it. Now, as you can see, the emblems just pops right off. And this thing's gonna fly like a projectile striking the driver. <laughs> It absolutely could kill people. It's not worth the risk. Valdez was selling his phony airbags on eBay for $100 or less. A genuine airbag cost at least $1,000. In all, 300 counterfeit airbags and parts were seized from Valdez. And remember, the shoddily assembled bags are literally bombs. LAPD bomb squad blows the airbags up on scene. They're too dangerous to transport. As for Valdez. Julio Valdez, count one, how do you plead, sir? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. He pleaded guilty to one felony count of selling counterfeits. No jail time for now, but he's on probation and will do 400 hours of Caltrans work. Colleen Sullivan, ABC7 Eyewitness News.